Welcome to another one of our Bluebeam Me Up How To Tutorials. Brought to you by Brighter Graphics Limited. Where we show you how to maximize the potential of your investment in Bluebeam Review. Brighter Graphics are the oldest established Bluebeam partner and your premium Bluebeam solutions provider. Let's get started. In this video, we are going to show you how to use the tool chest in Bluebeam Review. The tool chest is a powerful feature that stores tools and groups, called tool sets. Review comes with preloaded tool sets specifically designed for design review, quantity takeoffs, and other symbols commonly used in the AEC industry. To access the tool chest, select the tool chest from the panel bar on the left side of the screen. If for some reason you don't have the tool chest visible, right click on the side panel, select show, and select tool chest. With the tool chest panel open, you'll notice a few tool sets available by default in review. My Tools is a permanent tool set used to save your favorite tools and will remain even after shutting review down. Recent Tools is another permanent tool set that saves the most recently used tools. However, this will reset every time you restart review. The rest of the tool sets visible depend on the type of profile you're working in. Click the Review drop-down, mouse over Profiles and then click Review. In the Review profile you'll notice the Architect, Contractor, and Engineer Review tool sets, as well as tool sets for measurements and symbols. Adjust how to view each tool set by clicking on the Settings cogwheel, left of the tool set and clicking on Symbol, which displays the colored icon of the tool, or Detail which shows the icon of the markup subject, comment, and label, of each of those markups in a chart. In the tool chest settings, you can also set the scale of a tool. This is useful when working with documents with differing scales, as your markups will adjust to the document automatically. To set the scale, enter the known scale or use the calibrate tool to measure a known distance, like a door. Once satisfied, click OK. To export a tool set, click the tool set settings and click Export. Review will ask to save the toolset on your computer. Once saved, you can share the file with your coworkers. When working with tools from the toolset, you have two options. In Properties mode, the Markups tool is a normal icon, but with custom color. This allows you to duplicate only the color and appearance settings of the markup, while still creating a custom shape. In Drawing mode, it will duplicate the shape and appearance of the markup as it appeared when first created. You can tell if the tool is in drawing mode, as it displays a preview of the markup. Double-click on the tool to toggle between these modes. You can customize any of these tool sets by adding custom markups to them. Select a markup, then click the Type icon from the Properties toolbar. If you need to delete a tool from a tool set, right-click on the markup in the tool set and select Delete. Click on the tool chest title to activate the drop-down menu. From here you can show or hide active tool sets in that profile. Or add new tool sets by clicking Manage Tool Sets. From this dialog box, you can import a review tool set. Export a selected tool set. Or add your own. In the Create Tool Set dialog box, name your tool set. There are three options you can check on and off for your profiles, display, show in all profiles, and relative path which stores the location of tool set relative to where current profile is saved. It's a good idea to always keep this last one checked, unless you have a reason not to. Click OK once you're satisfied. At the bottom of the tool chest, you can adjust how large the icons are by dragging the size scale. Thank you for watching. We hope you found the video useful. You can visit our website, www.brightergraphics.com, for more videos in the how-to series and all things Bluebeam Review. We at Brighter Graphics, welcome your feedback to help us to improve.